Let's talk about the split fraction and we're going to cover these more into the actual definition and also very importantly I want to ensure you that we're going to be working with some numbers regarding the split fraction but for now let's understand what it is how can we calculate it the equation and how can we read it remember from our previous exercise we got this diagram which is the feed we got column 1 column 2 and column 3 Unfortunately, we are using uh, hydrocarbons, so it might be confusing. For instance, C3 versus propane. Well, I actually use C3 just to say propane, so it's kind of inconvenient. But for now, I think we should use the same uh, nomenclature. Okay, the split fraction SF for component I in separator K is the fraction found in the product or the first line product. And it's shown as follows. It's going to be SF, split fraction of I, in K is equal to the total amount of moles of I in K divided by the total amount of moles of I in the total fraction. Okay? Which reads split fraction of species I in separator K is given by the moles of species I in stream 1 divided by the moles of species I in the feed stream. Okay. So let us focus our attention into this example. We got C1, C2, and C3. Those are case, this case right here. And we got stream 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So it's kind of tricky because sometimes I see some students using total streams. But for now, guys, see that we are talking about individual moles of species I. So I don't know right now the actual number, but let's assume that uh, this is later. Let's say, let's assume that 50 moles of propane are going through here, C3, or propane. The way we will fill the SF C3. So let me SF. We're talking about C3 in separator one. So this is what I was telling you guys. This is a little bit inconvenient, but in this case, I think you get the idea. This is propane in separator or column one. Therefore, we gotta know the total amount of, let, let me write it, C3 in the inlet material, sorry, in the outlet material, which is this one right here, stream three. Uh, let it be separator one, and the stream is three. And divided by the inlet, so the total amount of propane in column one in the feed. So technically, I'm not going to use feed because in this specific case, uh, we could confuse it right here. But if we were talking about C2, then it will not be F, it will be stream number three. So let me use stream number instead. And if I were to use numbers, well, what are the total amount of propane going out of C1 as the main feed? So let it be here. This will be 50. And the total amount entering is 57, is given here. So that will be the split fraction. I don't have the correct number, but it should be something around 95, 96 maybe percent or fraction. And that's why split fraction is very powerful, because if I give the split fractions all over the plant, or the chemical procedure, the chemical uh, manufacturer, then you will be able to relate split fractions to total mole flow rates and mole flow rates to uh, maybe recoveries, purities, compositions, and so on. 